while we're all up in departures, getting a coffee, waiting for the plane to board, down here on the tarmac, there's a massive operation going on. You'd never know it as a passenger, but Heathrow Airport is vital to Britain's long-distance seafood trade. Amazingly, over 45,000 tonnes of fish a year take off or land here. Whether it's tuna coming in or crabs going out, these are perishable products often travelling great distances. So this airport, 60 miles from the sea, is a crucial cargo hub. And with Brexit putting business with our nearest neighbours in a state of flux, many producers will be hoping these long-distance markets can continue to expand. I'm going to explore Heathrow and find out how our seafood is on the move faster and further than ever before. It's 9am and I'm joining Paul Griffin, cargo manager for American Airlines, who's overseeing a flight to Los Angeles that's currently being loaded with one of Britain's most important seafood exports. But I'm surprised to see it's going onto a passenger plane. I was expecting like a cargo plane and this looks like the kind of aeroplane I might go on flying over to New York or Boston. You absolutely would, yeah. This is a 777-300 aircraft. We fill the lower belly with cargo. So although it's not a freighter, it takes a huge amount of cargo. This plane is being loaded up to the gunnels with Scottish salmon. It's been brought down to Heathrow to be exported to LA on pallets weighing up to four and a half tonnes. How many um, pallets like that, how many big crates can actually go into the plane? We could put 12 of those on. 12, four and a half tonne, we could. Amazing. Yeah. When you th I mean, I've never thought of it before, but when you look at the scale of that cargo hold from here, of course, if it was only the passenger bags, there'd be tons of room. Almost every long-haul passenger flight out of Heathrow is filled with freight. In fact, a surprising amount of Britain's imports and exports by value go through this airport. How much of the cargo, which is um, going in out of the airport, how much of that is happening like this on the passenger plane? It will be 90%. 90%? Yeah, yeah. most of it goes on passenger aircraft. With 30 minutes before the flight departs, Paul takes me up into the belly of the 777, yeah, yeah, below the passenger the compartment. It's huge. I mean, it goes back a long way uh, down the aircraft. With 265 cubic metres of space, that's your equivalent to the load of 17 transit vans. It can carry cargo ranging from pharmaceuticals to aircraft engines. And a full complement of salmon is not unusual. In theory, you could be taking off uh, with 50,000 kilos plus uh, on board the aircraft. Just of salmon. Is salmon a big uh, export through Heathrow? So there is a variety of product, but really nothing to match the volume and quantity of salmon that we, uh, that we send out. Salmon is the UK's biggest seafood export, representing about a third of our overseas income from seafood. Nearly half of that is sent out on passenger flights right beside the suitcases. Cargo goes on first, the passenger bags go on last right. because they're first off at destinations. It's definitely suitcases. Suitcases of holiday makers, of business people flying to LA, sitting down here with tons of Scotch salmon on ice. Are we going to be in the way? Uh, we will eventually, yes. We'll have, to, we'll have to move. We'll have to escape. At some point. I'm not sure I fancy flying to LA down here anyway. No, it's not exactly business class, is it? It's not exactly economy class. With the hatches closed, flight AA109 is nearly ready to depart. There you go. Roll in. Flying a fully booked passenger plane with its belly loaded with freight will burn more fuel than if it travelled with just the people and their luggage. And while the environmental impact of air transport is a real concern, selling hold space makes strong business sense for airlines. If we weren't selling fresh salmon to the Americans, what would happen? Would there be an alternative cargo going onto that plane? It's likely that 
it will go empty. Right, so uh, the salmon uh, is really important to us. For the Scottish salmon industry, putting huge pallets of their fish on passenger planes next to our banks opens up whole new markets. In fact, in the last decade, it's helped treble the value of UK salmon exports 